Uncharted. Hello everyone, I'm Joe Squared and today we're going to talk about Uncharted. Now Uncharted is based off of a video game made by a studio called Naughty Dog. Um, I've never played an Uncharted game but I have played their other games, uh, The Last of Us and The Last of Us Part 2. Uh, first one is a great game, you know, and uh, I'm sure that applies to the Uncharted games as well, which I've heard are very good games and, you know, people have a lot of passion for them and uh, they're big fans of them, so that's why this movie was obviously made in the first place. But I've never played a single one, I've only seen little snippets of it, so obviously there's nothing for me when I go into this movie to compare it to, so it's sort of like a, a new movie, a new story, new characters for me. Now the plot of this movie is that Victor Sullivan, or Sully, played by Mark Wahlberg, approaches Nathan Drake, who's played by Tom Holland, uh, and, you know, he says that he's got a quest that he needs to go on to find some long lost hidden gold and there's a huge fortune to be had will he help him and they team up together to go on this hunt to find this long lost gold but there is of course another party interested the party of villains uh, who want to get in their way and get the treasure for themselves that means there is of course constant backstabbing and you know two timing and all that now the chemistry between Wahlberg and Tom Holland was really great they felt like a good duo here you know watching it on the trailers you wonder how they're sort of gonna connect how they're going to click because obviously you know Wahlberg's older than Tom and whatnot Wahlberg's been around for a while so you do wonder how how that's gonna you know come across on screen but it actually came across very well I thought they were a really cool duo uh they were funny they had good humor good cracks at each other so yeah thumbs up for me on that side of things the villains on the other hand were, were pretty cliche it, it's a cliche action villain you don't really get too much depth to them you just kind of get a simple thing of why they're a villain why they're doing what they do and why they want to stop the other people that's that's pretty much it they do their job as the cliche villain but they were nothing that memorable therefore it's good that this movie spent pretty much majority of the time with Wahlberg and Holland you know like 80 85 percent of the movie is with them and it's just these little snippets with the other guys so that's that's good at least now the intro to this movie does feel a little bit quick it sort of is trying to get the ball ro rolling pretty fast but to be fair that wasn't much of a problem because the entire movie is quite fast it's quite you know let's just keep the momentum you know sequence to sequence to sequence a lot going on um so it kind of makes sense that the, the intro was quick and therefore it didn't feel you know weird that they kind of got the ball rolling straight away and it's not like the movie slowed down at any point it continued with that momentum um so the pacing overall did feel pretty good because of that now there's a lot of exciting like action sequences and little high sequences and puzzles and all this stuff and that was all really really well done especially the action and set pieces they were really exciting and kind of tense but they had really cool just just fights and you know just movement and all, all this stuff going off you've seen stuff in the trailers like the stuff on the plane and hanging from the ceiling like the lights it's, you've, you've seen these bits in trailers but when it actually happens on the screen it's actually very exciting and you know when you can feel the build up to a fight happen and sort of the music building and the tension building you're very excited or no i was when it actually kicked off and they were really really good they were very engrossing definitely you know you couldn't really take your eyes off the screen when all the action was uh, going on and you know alongside that they had some good humor thrown in there as well that you know made it a bit comical and, and it worked definitely but of course this is based on a video game so therefore like the stunts and the set pieces and some of the movement of the characters and the stuff they do felt video game-esque it felt a bit like far-fetched or unrealistic but it's kind of what you expect you know this is clearly based on a video game and if it wasn't and you watched it you would say wow that's like something out of a video game it does feel over the top but this is meant to be like a fun over the top movie based on a game so it's it's not really a problem it's not really a flaw with the movie uh, if anything it just adds to it or and it you know adds the consistency to the movie with what it's going for here and like i said because of that fast pace and action it, it moves the plot moves swiftly you know it has a good pacing to it for sure it, at no point does it drag at no point does it feel inconsistent where one bit's quick and one bit's slow you know it's all just very well put together of course as i mentioned though with characters double crossing and whatnot not naming names it did feel cliche at times it felt a bit like oh well we kind of saw that coming or when a character does do it and maybe you didn't see it coming you question why have they done that it doesn't really make sense and that's mainly because the characters doing it were not the ones being entirely fleshed out so you can't understand their motivation for doing what they do it's just like oh that character's done this because they felt like it and then you get a little brief explanation of why but it doesn't really justify 
the decision overall. I would say this was the film's main problem. It's it's it's, it's other characters. You can't have your main two in Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg, or, you know, Nate and Sully. Everyone else was a bit eh, iffy, like not bad, but just they didn't have much to them. And then when they made these big decisions, you kind of felt a bit like, well, okay, I guess, sure. Now the film continues, of course, with this fast pacing, uh, you know, building up to its last sort of big action sequence, which was unbelievably over the top, ridiculous, but I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. Like I said, I couldn't take my eyes off the screen. I thought it was very, very entertaining, very video game esque I can tell that they've taken it obviously straight out of the game. Um, I haven't seen the game. I don't know which game it's from, if it's even from a game or if they've just pulled it out of thin air. But, uh, you know, it's really, really cool. Really cool. And, uh, yeah, really good fun to watch, especially in live action. And the film, you know, it reaches a, a satisfying conclusion for sure. And, you know, with good character development, I'd say by the end, these characters are very likable from the start. But it, they become more likable uh, as the film goes on, I'd say. And uh, yeah, it was, it was a very, you know, well brought together ending. Um, and of course, with the way movies are these days, it's not the end of the movie. Uh, they are setting up some more. There's a couple of post credit sequences, you know, taking a leaf out of Marvel's book. So, you know, there is going to be more of this. It looks like it. And I hope there is, to be fair. I hope uh, it receives good reception. They do make a sequel because... I did like this movie um, and I would be well up for seeing a sequel as long as it sort of maintains the quality, builds on it even and you know continues to treat these characters how they've treated them in this movie which I think was well and you know made them interesting. Yeah I really enjoyed this movie, it was, it was a fun action adventure movie, it kind of reminded me of like an early 2000s movie, you know kind of like The Mummy, not in terms of like the plot but in terms of just the way it is, it's just fun, it's not like extraordinary or outstanding it's not oscar worthy or anything like that but it was just fun uh with good characters and good humor and you know good action and good fights it was a fun movie i mean of course other people are going to feel different about this and my enjoyment mainly comes from this because to me this felt like an original movie even though i know it's not because it is based on a series of video games the characters the locations uh the the set pieces the action you know all this sort of thing it's obviously all based on a game uh, series of games that I haven't played myself so I can't really judge and compare because you know even for me when the trailer came out or I'd seen that Tom Holland being cast as Nathan Drake I knew what Nathan Drake looked like from the games and I was a bit like oh really him like it doesn't look like a fit but because I just went into this not really knowing anything about Uncharted I've really enjoyed the movie because of that I thought it was really fun it feels like I haven't watched a video game movie it feels like I've just watched a movie and therefore, because every video game movie ever has been pretty bland or poor, this is probably the best video game movie I've ever seen because I haven't played the video game. A player of those games, of course, will compare it and maybe not enjoy it that much or they wouldn't enjoy it at all. I, I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, I'd be curious to see what someone who's played the games would think of it. Um, you know, I bear that in mind because, of course, they're making a Last of Us TV show um, and I'm a bit wary of that. I'm not huge fan of the casting for some of the roles and i'm kind of doubtful that it's going to hit the same levels as the game did if anything will it even get close um so obviously some people may feel that way about this movie but for me personally i thought this is a fun popcorn movie i thought it had great action uh i thought it was good writing i thought it was good performances good humor and i think it's well worth a watch whether you're a fan of the games or not i think this is something that if you knew nothing if you did not even know it was based on a video game you could go and watch for sure i would give this movie an 8 out of 10 uncharted it's good i enjoyed it um yeah really good surprised me better than i thought it would be i had my doubts but it was actually damn good fun and i would probably watch this again one day for sure thank you all for watching uh i've been joe squared please like subscribe let me know if you've seen it drop a drop a comment and uh yeah i'll see all of you in the next one bye bye